on, sweetie, hold on. It's okay, everything will be okay. Hold on, we're almost there. Oh, just hold on, stay with me, baby, stay with me. You'll be fine, you'll be fine. Hold on, sweetie, hold on, we're almost there. <laughs> just hold on for me. <laughs> Please, baby. Can't we go any faster? Come on! Oh, hold on, sweetie. Slowly, please. What happened to her? Traffic accident, Doctor. Ready the OR and prep her for surgery. She may have internal doctor. bleeding. Check her blood type. We may need plenty of it. John, please save her. She's my only child. Don't worry. We'll do our best for her. Everything's going to be all right, I promise. I beg you, Doctor. She's my life. Scissors. I've got to stop this bleeding. Heart rate is dropping, Doctor. Suture? Um, uh, come on, yeah. come on! Su suture! Sorry. All right. Stay with me, sweetheart. I don't understand. She's still hemorrhaging. Come on, where are you? Heart rate is erratic. Scissors. Scissors! Doctor, we're losing her. My baby, my baby, you're going to live, you're going to live, you're going to be okay, my princess, we will be together again, she will survive, please God. Defib, come on, come on. <laughs> Come on, sweetheart, stay with us. Doctor. How is my daughter? My daughter? She's better, right? She lost a lot of blood on the way here. She had internal bleeding. We did everything we could for her, but I'm sorry. Unfortunately, we lost your daughter. What? Uh, no. no. No! My daughter was alive when she came here! You killed her! You killed her! You killed her! <laughs> sir, I told you we did everything we could to save her! Sir! Let go! Let go! Let me go! It was my only child! She was my wife's gift to me! I can't stand a little without her! You killed her! You will see, Doctor! I will make you feel the same pain I have now! You will pay for this! You, Doctor! You will see, Doctor! Doctor! You will feel it! Doctor!
Hello, honey. Oh. Hi, sweetie. How was your day? Fine, thanks. Are you okay? I lost one of my patients today. I'm so sorry. Mm. Do you want to talk about it? Mm. I know it's hard. Yeah. But you'll feel better if you talk about it, believe me. I don't know, hon. We do the best we can for our patients. Mm. But no matter how skilled we are or how good our medicine is, we can't stop people mm. from dying. But I suppose that mm. it's all a part of God's plan. Ah! Uh. Uh. Um, I guess she's on her way. Oh. Oh. Okay, it's going to be all right. Breathe. Mm. That's it. It's all right, honey. I'm right here with you. It's going to be fine. Everything's going to be okay. All right, you're doing great. Congratulations, you have a beautiful baby girl. Oh, thank God. <laughs> thank you so You're much. You're welcome. Oh, here we go. Oh, 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 look how beautiful she is. She's precious. It looks like she takes after her mother. <laughs> Maybe she'll turn out to be a teacher, too. <laughs> You're so beautiful. Thank you, God. So, what do you think we should name her? Well, I chose the name for our son. So why don't you choose the name for our daughter? I was thinking of your mother's name. My mother's name? Hmm. Nesibe. I pray that God grants her a life as beautiful as her name is. Amen. <laughs> Very happy, Doctor, for now. Love her so deeply. Love your daughter, because the deeper you love her, the deeper you will suffer when you lose her. Like I'm suffering now. I will be patient. I'll wait. I will make you suffer, Doctor. Such a big girl, yes. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, look what happened. I'm not very good at this. to meet the greatest fortune teller oh, in the area? No, Ma'am, let me have a look at your hand no, and tell you about I, the I greatest facts anything. of your future no, life. You, Come on, no. I'm seriously I'm good at this, ma'am. Really. This is how I, I make my living, I you know. Let me tell anything. you Don't all you that I know. I you wouldn't no. want to miss this opportunity, right? Come on, ma'am, let me I tell you your no. fortune. I also sell hand-sewn quilts. You want to see? You love them. I want to tell you your fortune. Let me show you. Come on. 
Come on, ma'am, let me tell you your fortune, please. Ma'am, take it this way. I'll be telling your fortune and you'll help me survive. Oh. Please, ma'am. Get away hey, from me. Ma'am! <laughs> Merci, <babe. gasps> Shahin. I know him. He called me at the hospital. His daughter died during surgery. He said he wanted revenge. I told the police everything I know, and they're searching for him right now. Oh my god. I don't understand. What kind of man is he? It's not your fault. His daughter died. You did everything you could. The police check Shahin's criminal records. This guy is seriously disturbed. Apparently... He stayed in a mental hospital for a long time. Oh, my God. And before that, he was incarcerated. They only let him out a few years ago. Hello? Now we're even, my dear doctor. You killed my daughter. Now I kill your daughter. Wait! God, no! Oh, Sevki, please. It's been years. It's been 14 years. But I feel like he took her away from me yesterday. I can't take my mind off her. Oh, when he took our daughter away from us. He also stole our happiness. And he stole our smiles. He took everything away from us. For years I've been telling myself that she's alive. That they would find Cheyenne and my baby. But now... I know, sweetheart. The police did everything they could to find him, but... It's as though he just disappeared. My baby... Nesibe... Every year when I start at a new school, when I start a new class, every girl reminds me of my own daughter. This made me forget about the happiness of... My only son's graduation. Soon Kanan will be a police officer. And I don't want him to see me crying on his happiest of days. I know I have to hide my sorrow at least for today, but... Kanan is very determined to find who kidnapped her. He won't give up. He'll never forget his sister. I know. It's hard for him. Yes, it is. For us all. We haven't been to this city since Nesibe was kidnapped. I'm afraid everything is going to come flooding back again. Well, I can't believe we're returning to our old home. It should be good. Yes, I suppose so. We are going back to the city of our greatest sorrow, but now for our son's greatest joy. Hopefully our sorrows will stay in the past and our future will be full of joys. Are you sure you're going to be all right with this? Whenever the thought of Nesibe makes me fall, I look at my students and they give me the strength to stand up again. For a teacher, it makes no difference what part of the world she lives in or what brought her there. 
A teacher will always be happy as long as she's together with her students, no matter where they are. And our son will be living there as well. It's a funny world, isn't it? Time passes so quickly. Kanan's all grown up. It seems like just yesterday I was bouncing him on my knee. And we were bouncing from one city to the next. I never would have thought we'd come back. Are you all right? What is it? I don't know what it is. I just suddenly have this feeling. It's difficult to explain. It's like feeling the first light of morning in the darkness of the night. Oh, God. I feel it right here in the bottom of my heart. I'm sure that our daughter is still alive. Sevgi, remember what you said. Today is very important for Kanan. Let's try to keep all of our thoughts about him and his bright future. Mm. Mm. Your son was our best student this year. We're very proud of him. I personally wanted to meet with you and thank you for raising such an honorable young man. I'm very glad to meet you both. Congratulations. We're proud of him too. Thank you so much. I must say, seeing how our son has excelled at your institution has given us a great sense of pride. I couldn't have imagined a happier day for my wife and I. Well, I have to admit, sir, that I owe everything to my parents. Without the two of them, I never could have done this. I can never repay them. Hello. Uh, <laughs> what a surprise. Congratulations. Thank you very much. And how are you, sir? I'm good. Look at this. The two of you. You're a lucky woman, Sevgi. Mm. Today you have two sons graduating together. I owe her everything I have. I grew up with her compassion and also her love. Seeing the two of you like this today makes me so very happy. You know, we're not just friends anymore. It's like we're real brothers. And we always will be. <laughs> I'm sure the two of you will look out for each other. And may God watch over the both <laughs> yes, of you. Yes, may God bless you. But never forget one thing. Wherever you go, never forget who you are. You're policemen now, and you've pledged yourself to a higher calling. Ma'am, ma'am, may I kiss your hand? Uh, excuse me, uh, do I know you? I was one of your students in Eskishir. My name is Hassan Bulut. <gasps> Hassan Balut, that cute, smart boy. I'm here today just because of your help, and I owe all my success to you, ma'am. I still remember that once on a winter night, you sent my family a full truck of wood without telling anyone. I'll never forget that, ma'am. I'm so happy to hear I was able to make a difference in your life, and so happy to see you becoming so successful. Are you okay? Mm. I'm just so happy that we could share this day. I see the reflection of every beautiful thing in your face. You are still my little blessed son to me. You know something, Mom? Even in your happiness, there are tears of compassion. Mm. She's always been like this. 
She's always been so proud of her children. You couldn't have asked for a more caring or loving mother, and all of these years, she's kept us together. It feels so great to be together. I wish our Nesebe were here too. So she could see her brother's happy day. Don't cry anymore. Please, Mom. <laughs> oh, don't worry, Kanan. She's fine. Mothers are like the sky. They collect all the sorrow in their hearts like clouds. <laughs> when they cry, it's like rain. Their tears of compassion feed the seeds of love in our hearts so we grow to be strong and successful. I just don't want Mom to be sad anymore. That man who kidnapped my sister. That disgusting man will pay for everything he put us through. I know he lied. When he said he killed her, I'm sure she's still alive. We'd better be getting back home. The furniture will be there already. We need to start unpacking. Has mom eaten yet? She won't eat till she sets up the whole house. Daddy, will my sister come here? Huh, Dad? Will I ever get to meet her? I really want to. Come on, sweetheart. Be a good girl and finish your dinner, all right? you. I will find that guy, wherever he is. Uh, uh, I feel her, Kanan. She is alive somewhere. I will find her. I will find my sister. No. Nesipe, uh, mm. my daughter. You would be in high school by now. <laughs> Sevgi? Oh. You 
You should get some sleep. You have to get up early tomorrow. Uh, I was, um, I was just going over some notes for school. I want to be prepared. Sevgi, stop torturing yourself. You know it breaks my heart to see you in so much pain. I just can't help it. There is no happiness left in this world for me right now without her. I want to hug my baby. I want to hug her and kiss her so much, so much. Sivgi, you have to be strong. Look at it this way. God is testing both of us. We must be patient and we must have faith. No matter how much we miss her and want her to be with us, we have to believe we have the strength to get through this. Every day is a new day and a new hope dawns with it. And with hope and faith, we can get through anything. Mrs. Soreya? Yes? Come in. Good morning, ma'am. I'm the new literature teacher, Sevgi Haktan. Good morning. Please, have a seat. I have read your entire file. It says that you were very successful in all of your previous teaching positions. Apparently, you were a great teacher. I don't know about great, but I always do my best to be helpful to my students. Compassion is my secret. My career in education has also been a complete success, and my secret is discipline. I'm never flexible with students. Discipline is my main principle. You must understand that this is not an easy school. Last year, I expelled two students because of their behavior. Without discipline, there can be no education. I will do whatever it takes to maintain discipline in this school. I hope you understand this and try to cooperate. Hmm. I've always had one rule, Mrs. Soreya, and that is educating all of the students in the best way possible. I focus on the students to gain their hearts, not to lose them. You can be sure that I will do my best here to help my students to love their school and be successful. As for discipline, I leave that to you, Mrs. Soreya. Yeah, yeah, I heard some new ladies. I think I saw one of the Yeah, okay. Oh, the teacher's coming. Okay, bye. Okay, shh, quiet. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, ma'am. Well, I'll be teaching the literature classes this year. I am Sevgi Haktan. I would like to know each one of you before we start our journey in this class. Why don't we begin with you introducing yourselves to me one by one? Hello, my name is Ali Keskin. My name is Funda Yalin. It's a pleasure to meet you. Manasibe. Oh, you would be Funda's age now.
My name is Hassan Damir. My name is Omer Ashuk, ma'am. The archives is a good place to start duty, Kanan. It needs care and devotion. Here we file everything about the crimes, the criminals, anything you can think of relating to the police department. You can count on me, sir. I'll get up to speed as quickly as I can. I'm very happy to hear you'll be working in our hospital, Halusi. It's good to see you again. We've been looking for a doctor for this section for a long time. Congratulations, sir. <laughs> Thank you. This is a fine hospital, and it's an honor to work with a man who taught me everything I know. Same here. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, Good morning ma'am. Please sit down. These are for you, ma'am. They're from all of us. We just wanted to say welcome. Oh, thank you. How thoughtful. Thank you all very much. You are all as beautiful as these flowers. Thank you, really. So last week, the principal asked me to let you know we're supposed to raise money to fix the broken windows in the school, and she's asked me to finalize it today. Of course, this isn't mandatory. We're only looking for those who wish to volunteer. Okay, then. Why don't we get started? Ali, would you be the secretary for this, please? Here's the list. You got it. Hey, you guys want to donate? All right, cool. Here. <clears throat> Thanks. What are you going to get? You guys going to donate? Hey, Osman. You okay, all right? let me mark you down. Cool. Thank you. Osman? You guys, uh, guys want to donate? Can you come here, please? Yes, ma'am. Hey, you guys want to donate? All right, cool, here. Thanks. Yes, Mrs. Hoptan. You guys going to donate? You look upset. Is there a problem? Every time we have a fundraiser, I have nothing to contribute. I can never give anything. I feel so ashamed. There are things to be ashamed of in this life, but having no money is not one of them. Do you understand me? Anyway, we will talk about this later. Now go back to your seat. Thank you, ma'am. Hey, you guys, uh, you guys want to donate? First and second squads, get ready for the operation. Come on, right. what are you standing We're around on. for? Hurry up, boys. Hey, you think they'll let me go out on this one? I don't know, man. This isn't child's play. Come on. Hey, Chief, can I tag along? Hey, Chief, let me go on this operation with you. Ah, uh, no way, Kenan. You still have a ways to go. But, Chief, I know I'm ready for this. Don't get cocky. I'm not. I just want to watch. <sighs> yeah, all right, uh -huh. but just don't yeah. get in the way. Thanks, sir. I won't. Hey, Chief, can I come with you, too? Get out of here. We're not going to the zoo. This is serious yeah. operation. But... You heard him, bro. This isn't going to be child's play. <laughs> Be careful then, Kanan. So tell me, honey, what's wrong? While I was at school today, I became a little dizzy, doctor. Cough, please. Take a deep breath, hold it, and again, please, hold it, good, okay. I think I have just the thing that'll fix you right up, don't you worry. Here are the test results for the patient, doctor. Now, our little patient here needs an IV. How is my daughter, doctor? There's no need to worry. She'll be fine. I just received the test results, and I'm going to write you this prescription. She's anemic. She needs a little blood. 
That's all. Keep an eye on what she's eating. She looks a little malnourished and a bit underweight. She doesn't have a father, Doctor. He died in a bad accident, had no insurance either. I'm working as a cleaning person, and the money I'm making is hardly enough to pay the rent. So I guess I wasn't able to feed my daughter very well. Here you go, ma'am. You will be receiving the actual bill in the mail. It's all right, nurse. I'm going to take care of this myself. All right, be sure that she mm -hmm. gets the medicine she needs. Okay, follow me, please. Thank you so much, doctor. It's no trouble at all. Sweetheart. What is that for, Doctor? When you get home, give this to your mother. But you have to promise me you won't open it before then, and that you're going to take care of yourself. Okay, honey? All right, Doctor. I will. Squad two, around back. Set, my man. It's time to leave the country now, and it's time to fill our pockets, right? <laughs> Don't move. Put your hands, hands up. Hands in the air. Get up. Uh, up. Up against the wall. Uh, Search him now. Uh, He's clean. Uh, all right, cuff him. Let's hey! go. Come on. Come on. Uh, Let's go. Uh, brutality. We've been after him for 20 years. He kept changing identities. Looks like he's been keeping himself real busy making fake passports and IDs. Huh. Passports for criminals, huh? Oh, doctor, doctor, how, how is my son? Is yes, he all right? Yes, your son is fine, and he'll get better. Don't worry. Thank you, thank you. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Uh, and you're gonna help us, and you know why? Because otherwise, things are gonna get ugly for you. Look, I don't want to get involved in this. Wake up, Nori. You can't even pay your rent. We might even pay your gambling debts. Or, we'll come to your house, and you don't want us to do that. Uh, just leave me alone. We're not through with you yet. So you just behave. We'll see you. Is something wrong, Nuri? 
Nope, nothing, sir. Ali? Uh, Don't you know this is forbidden at school? I'm sorry, ma'am. What do you think you're doing? You could be expelled for doing this. You know that. Yeah, the principal has caught me smoking twice already, and she said I'll be kicked out if she catches me doing it again. All right, Ali. I'll make an agreement with you. If you promise to quit smoking, I will not report this to her. You mean you're not going to tell her you caught me smoking? Mm, that's right. You just promise me. If you give me your word, then I will trust you. Are you serious? Of course I am. Ugh, my parents never trust me. They always give me stupid advice whenever they call on the phone. When they call on the phone? My parents are in Germany right now. I live with my grandfather. I trust you, Ali. Promise me you won't smoke again, okay? You can trust me, I promise. Well? I know you'll quit. I'll see you back in class. Miss Octon, can I ask you something? Go right ahead. Do you think this is a good title for my essay? Oh, so hmm, yes I do. Okay, thanks. Hmm. My baby. She would be asking me these same questions too. These kind of criminals usually destroy all the evidence after they work on fake documents for someone. But we were lucky with this old fella. It does seem strange that he kept all these documents and didn't destroy them. Looks like he lived in here for years, like an animal. He didn't even throw out the garbage. All these records will really help us track the other mm. scumbags we've been after. We gotta go through everything really carefully. Everything. Hmm. I'm on it, Chief. <sighs> hmm. Your essay is very good, but you spell unique with a Q, not a C. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that's right. I totally forgot. I'm sorry to interrupt your class. I'm sure you have a good reason. Yes, to search for cigarettes. Sure. All right, this is a routine search. Now, let's get started. You. Next. Well, stand up. Let me see that. Uh, Next. Why don't I search this side? If you don't mind. Certainly. Go ahead. <clears throat> now. Sit down. All right, you're next. Don't make me wait all day. Sit down, please. All right, next. Sit down. 
up. Well, I hope everything is fine over there on your side. It's all clear. Everything's fine. Very well, then. I'd like to see you in my office after class, Mrs. Hocktan. You caught a student smoking in the yard. But you didn't tell me. Then, during the routine search, I know that you found cigarettes on him. But you didn't tell me then either. School policy dictates that we suspend and punish him severely. You know that, don't you? Well, I'm sorry, Mrs. Soraya, but I don't agree with you about punishing students severely. Oh, really? Are you going to just ignore the rules? No. I'm just trying to gain their hearts, that's all. Schools are for helping students succeed and for correcting their mistakes. Don't forget that I'm the principal of this school. And don't you forget that I am a teacher. Our best method of education is punishment. I can't believe this. My students need love and care. They don't need punishment. All right, son. We'll see you soon. Okay. Good you too. job. <laughs> Where's Kanan, Daddy? That was just him. He called to say that he's going to be a little late. And how was your first day at school today? I like my students. But it looks like I will have a little problem with the principal. She is so strict. She believes she can solve everything with punishment. <laughs> looks like you'll have to educate the principal as well as the children. <laughs> well, she may present a challenge. But I'm sure you can teach her that compassion is always the best way to reach the kids. Well, the greatest teacher is life itself. As long as we know how to face life's challenges, the rest will solve itself. How is the hospital? Do you like it? It's good, but there are problems. Most patients need a lot of help, both medically and financially. I'm doing what I can, but eventually I'm going to run out of resources. I guess we all need to try harder to fix the problems that surround us. Hmm. And I'm sure God will help us when we need it. I wanted to make some soup for you, sweetheart, but... I'm not hungry, Mom. It's okay. I have no money left. God, how am I going to pay for the gas now? I can't even feed my child and she's getting sick. Oh, God, please help me. Help me. Oh, I almost forgot. How could I forget? What's that, sweetie? The doctor gave this to me, Mom. He told me I should give it to you. He told me to tell you that I need to eat well, and then I won't be dizzy. I'm going out for a while, Grandpa. Ollie, hold on a second. Hmm? What's up? You dropped these at the store, son. I was... I... Tr well, I... Here. They're yours. <sighs> Are you mad at me? No. But I want you to know I am disappointed in you, Ollie. Honestly, I would never expect this kind of behavior from you. When I found them, I told myself, my grandson knows better than this. 
And my grandson does know better, doesn't he? <laughs> Honestly, I would never expect this kind of behavior from you. When I found them, I told myself, my grandson knows better than this. And my grandson does know better, doesn't he? I trust you, Ali. Promise me you won't smoke again, okay? There are thousands of documents and pictures here. It'll take us months to go through them all. Come on, let's get out of here. I'm gonna hang around a little bit. <laughs> Listen, Kanan. We're never gonna get through this all. There's no way. Go ahead, leave if you want to. I'm staying. <sighs> okay, man, fine. Then I'm staying too. Detectives, who are you looking for? Maybe I can help you out? Someone kidnapped my sister years ago, and then he just disappeared. He probably changed his name, and there could be proof of it right here. It's not going to be easy. <sighs> hmm. Here you go. Thanks, sweetheart. You're welcome. Hey, Mommy. Was this my sister's? Oh. Oh. Yes, sweetie, it was hers. How was school today? Oh, I met the new literature teacher today. Hmm. How was she? Hmm. She's really cool. I like her. She teaches really well. <sighs> well, first impressions aren't everything, honey. I don't know, Mom. I really liked her. Actually, I wanted to talk to you about private school. Mom, I love my school. We already talked about this. Oh, God. I wonder if he's even sorry for what he did. Doesn't he have any feelings at all? How could he do such a thing? Could anyone hate that much? <laughs> Shahin! Hey, Shahin! Huh? Shahin? Who's that? My name is Rivka. Rivka, understand? Rivka! I know you. Your name is Shahin. <laughs> Why don't you just get lost?
no sign of him here either. <sighs> uh, detectives, you gonna be here much longer? I can leave the files unlocked. Forget it. We're all through with these. All right. Good idea, man. Let's get going. Hey, you two. Where were you? Uh, we were worried. We caught a guy this afternoon. He was making fake IDs. I thought maybe one of those IDs would lead us to that shine guy. Um, do you think it could be possible? So, did you find anything, Kanan? No, nothing so far. But there's no way I'm giving up yet. Osman, what's up? Aren't you coming to school? No way, man. I'm so tired of being broke. I'm so tired of feeling ashamed of myself. You got a cigarette? Nah, I quit smoking, man. You should, too. Good for you. Look, go ahead. Don't be late. Come on, what are you, nuts? If you don't come to school today, they're going to throw you out. I mean, you heard the principal, didn't you? If you miss one more day, you're out of here. Who cares, all right? Just forget it. I'm already dropping out of this stupid school. Ah, welcome, Sevgi. It's good to see you, Nurie. You haven't changed at all. You're the same as ever. Your eyes are still shining with love and hope. My heart is still the same. But as you can see, I'm afraid my body is just a little bit older. Anyway, are you settled? We're almost settled. The neighborhood is just wonderful. It's as beautiful as you said it was. Thank you for everything. I'm so happy to hear that you're comfortable. Hmm. We couldn't have done it without you. Here you go. Ah, oh, thank you. My tea. Thank you. I remember you as a student. You were very confident and so very strong. Mm, a lifetime ago. In those days, I was living a life free from sorrow, Nurie. Mm. Those days I was always happy and full of energy. But those days are long gone. I know what makes you so sad, sweetie. <sighs> Nessie Bay is always on my mind. I think about her every day, Norie. This is life, Sevgi. There is a reason for everything. There is even a reason for your tears. Be patient. Sometimes I feel like I'm so weak. Sometimes I think I won't be able to stand the pain anymore. Don't give up, Sevgi. God never gives us more sorrow than we can handle. <laughs> Mommy, who is Mrs. Nuria? She is a family friend, like a mother, someone I discuss my problems with, a friend who has a pure heart. 
What's a pure heart, huh, Mommy? Well, a person with a pure heart is someone who helps anyone without expecting anything in return, who always helps others and shares their sadness. I don't remember her. Did I see her before, Mommy? She's seen you. She came to visit us when you were born. I met her when your father and I got engaged, and we have been friends with Nourie since that day. Here. Osman Boradan. Osman is absent again? Does anyone know where Osman is? Yes, Ali. Can I talk to you for a minute? Yes, Ali, of course. All right, Ali, I'm listening. I saw Osman on the way to school today. He told me he's dropping out and he's... and he's not coming back. Oh, but why? Mrs. Hakton. Good morning. I just wanted to let you know I'm holding a disciplinary meeting this morning to expel Osman Borodan. A disciplinary meeting? Oh, no, please don't. I'm sorry. His father informed me he won't be attending the school anymore. I tried to convince him otherwise, but he wouldn't budge. Anyway, Osman was a very poor student. Besides, he was a bad example for the others. Ali, do you know where Osman lives? Sure, it's not far. Mrs. Soraya. Could you delay your meeting until I get back? Hmm. Please. Okay. Let's go. expect me to do. The only thing I had was school. But now I don't have anything, Dad. Stop whining. You think school helps? Hmm. Get the door. If they're asking for money, I'm not home. Mrs. Hockton. Can we come in, Osman? Sure, come in. <clears throat> Hello? This is my father, ma'am. Dad, this is my literature teacher, Mrs. Hockton. I have a seat. Did you tell our principal that Osman is dropping out of school? You see how we're living here. I can't afford his school expenses. Sending him to school is a mistake. I'm an unemployed man. What else can I do? And what do you expect to accomplish sitting at home and drinking? Forget it. I've made my decision. My son will not go to school. End of story. Do you want to go to school, uh, Osman? No, he doesn't. I was asking him. I want to, but... So what if he wants to? We can't afford to buy food. How will he go? Just leave us alone. What if I told you I'd take care of all his school expenses? and help you find a job. You'll find a job for me? As long as you agree to quit drinking. But, Osman has to go to school today because they're about to expel him. Come on, Osman, get ready. You have to get to class. <sighs> Thank you, Hurry up done. now. What are you doing, uh, Nuri? Leave me alone. Get out of here. Mr. Mahir is getting impatient. It's time to finish the job. Get it over and done with. And when you're done, you'll have enough money to pay off your debt. 
You want me to kidnap children and hurt their parents. I'm sorry, guys. I can't be involved in this. I fear God. It's us you should be afraid of. You're gonna do this. What's going on in here? Leave him alone. Get out! We'll be seeing you later, Nori. What do those guys want from you? Uh, nothing, sir. Whatever it is, you can tell me, all right? Are you in some kind of trouble? I told you, it's nothing. Whatever you tell me will be completely confidential. Talk to me, Nori. Maybe I can help you in some way. No, sir. Let's talk about it later. That guy we nailed gave us good names. Looks like he made a lot of fake IDs. Can I take a look at that, Chief? Yeah, sure. Sean? Sean, coach? Do you know him? This... this is the man who kidnapped my sister. Tell me where he is. I swear I don't know him. If I knew him, I would most definitely tell you, sir. Don't lie to me. You made him a fake ID. This fake ID. I found it in your files. I really don't know, sir. I didn't do anything. You didn't do anything? Are you kidding me? Do I look like an idiot to you? <laughs> You'd better start talking. Because I've got all night. It's up to you. I can keep you here as long as I have to. Either way, you're gonna talk. Sir, please wait. I have a family. They cannot survive without me. Please, I'll do anything, sir. You know what I want. Where is he? I won't ask again. Sweetheart. I found him, Mom. I found the guy who kidnapped Nessie. Oh, thank you, God. Yes, Dr. Halusi, please. This is urgent. I'm his son. Dr. Halusi's not here. Uh, thank you. I'll call back later. Okay, Nori, what's going on? I think I'm in big trouble. 
There is something I need to tell you, Doctor. 